Hello everybody. Today's video is going to be all about Chilliwack. I want to do a little comprehensive tour. I want to show you guys the different areas. This is going to be a long video, but everything's going to be bookmarked right below. If you want to skip to a specific neighborhood, it's all going to be right below. We're going to look at all the neighborhoods in Chilliwack. And have you guys heard of Cattermole? Yup, that's part of Chilliwack too. Let me show you guys where that's at. So let's start off by looking at Chilliwack uh, on the map. So Chilliwack is located about an hour away from Vancouver. If you guys look here, I just want to bring up an interesting point. So Chilliwack is mainly composed of agricultural land. So if you guys can see here, all the green lines, yeah, it's all, it's all agricultural line, land. But don't let Cal scare you. There are some, uh, some nice neighborhoods and cities that have that small city feel or aspect of a bigger city. Okay, let's begin by looking at uh, Chilliwack proper. Let me just zoom in here for you guys. So this is gonna be our downtown core area. We have the older, you know, older houses, older neighborhood. Um, there is an area that has been revitalized called District 1881. So this is where we're gonna find that area here. So this, this area has a, a variety of uh, homes. You have your townhomes, condos, um, there's new neighborhoods, new buildings uh, being uh, built. Uh, there's just a little bit of everything. Um, you also have, uh, you know, if you want to live in kind of downtown area, this would be the place to be at um, within walking distance from this new, uh, from the new district 1881. Um, and you're also, if we look here, you are close to Fairfield Island. So, Fairfield Island has that rural feel, but it's still close to the city. So here you have bigger lots, bigger acreages. So you have a lot of families like this area, bigger yards, um, you know, people with, yeah, like dogs, kids. Chilliwack and Fairfield Island are divided by the, the Hope River, which people in Chilliwack just call the, the slough. So Fairfield backs, backs off to, um, agriculture land, uh, a lot of greenery, um, but you're still close to the downtown core area. Now let's move over to uh, Little Mountain. So Little Mountain has your, your higher end detached homes. Um, it's, it's a beautiful spot to, that overlooks the valley, a lot of greenery. So it just kind of depends on what kind of view you want. You can have, yeah, just farmland views here um, there's a golf course that you can overlook, but you're, you're up above, so you'll have a nice, nice view. Um, also, they just opened up a nice little trail right here. Uh, so if you're into hiking, um, um, mountain biking, this is a good little spot um, to, to check out. So now let's uh, talk about Sardis. So Sardis is probably one of the most desirable areas in Chilliwack. It's got a great location. It's a central location. You're close to the highway. It has a great school district. And this is where the biggest Canadian tire in Canada is actually located. It's in Sardis. So all that to say, yep, it's close to the malls. It's close to shopping. If you can see here, it's right next to the highway. Um, and I just, want to show you guys something up here the agricultural uh, land if you can see here Sardis is surrounded by it so what does that mean so it has unobstructed views of just farmland green land that is protected and will probably never be built on so you can you know be sure that you're always gonna have that view um, also within Sardis we have Sardis Park which is a protected park that has nice little trails. Um, so now let's uh, transition into the Vetter area. Uh, this is interesting because here in Chilliwack, nobody really refers to this area as a Vetter site. Everyone kind of just calls it Sardis on the Vetter side. A lot of people just even think that it's Sardis. Um, but within Vetter, there's a little sub area or community, which is Garrison Crossing. And Garrison Crossing is uh, just a, like a nice little walkable neighborhood. Uh, you don't really need a car. You can walk to uh, everything. So on, if you guys are afraid of cows, this is probably one of the nicest or one of the neighborhoods that you can 
live in to stay away from the cows. Um, also, if we look down here at the map, if, we're, if you're down here, you're close to the Vetter River. Some people actually call it the Chilliwack River, but it's the Vetter River. So right along this river, you have a dike, which you can actually walk, bike, run, and it actually follows the river and you can actually get to Yarrow. You can cross a, a train track, get into Yarrow, and you can even follow it all the way, all the way into Abbotsford. So also in this river, this is where we have the world class, world class fishing. People from all over the world come to this river to fish. And then here, um, there's actually a new shopping center, a new development called the Eddy. And it's actually connected uh, by a bridge to the dike. And in this sh uh, shopping center, you have uh, a brewery, uh, you have uh, ice cream, you have a rock climbing gym. Uh, so if you're into rock climbing, this is one of the only gyms uh, to rock climb in Chilliwack. It's located here. So now moving, transitioning over from the Vetter side to Promontory. But before that, I just want to show you guys here. If you guys see on this map, this red area, um, they're all on lease land. So what is that? You know, I get a lot of questions. What what does that mean? What is, should I buy property on lease land? So there's definitely um, a video coming on that where we go into the pros and cons and we talk a lot all about lease land and what that means. Um, but for now, let's just, just wanted to point that out. Um, and then, so in between that, we have promontory. So promontory. So promontory is essentially suburbs on a hill. You have some uh, beautiful views up there. So you have some detached homes, you have some town homes uh, with amazing views. Um, but essentially it's, it's a pretty tight neighborhood. Um, some say they might be a little overcrowded uh, and there's uh, two, ways, two ways up. So people that uh, um, move out of town into Promontory eventually do and, you know, wanna leave and they wanna get closer to town, moving into like the Vetter and Sardis uh, area. Uh, Promontory doesn't really have a lot of uh, shopping or stores, so you need to get something, you know, groceries or anything. You have to drive down the hill into the city, uh, so this can get a little, you know, tiring. So now next to uh, Promontory is Ryder Lake. So Ryder Lake is where you where you move to kind of get away from the city, but still be close enough to the city. Uh, if you don't like neighbors, this is probably the area you want to look at. Within Ryder Lake, you have smaller like hobby farms, not your, your typical commercial farms, but a lot of hobby, hobby farms, smaller farms. Uh, and also within Ryder Lake, you have some world-class hiking. So that's essentially it for Ryder Lake, but it feels like you're in a different country. It's a beautiful acreages, land, but just, just like that, it also, uh, if you want to move here, be prepared to, uh, to spend. So now let's uh, transition into Eastern Hillside. So Eastern Hillside is um, a newer uh, suburb on a hill, just like Promontory. So a lot of people refer to it as a new Promontory. Uh, you have some beautiful views, uh, beautiful homes. Uh, there's a golf course there, a very popular golf course. Um, it's, it's like also a really nice uh, venue. A lot of weddings, a lot of events happen there. Within Eastern Hillside, they there's a community forest too. So that has some really nice um, hiking trails, uh, some biking trails. A lot of people like to go there uh, for, you know, take their dogs, uh, just hiking, walking, biking. Um, the only thing with uh, Eastern Hillside, there isn't really any shopping. So if you wanna go get groceries or if you're feeling like ice cream or something, you're either gonna have to drive all the way into town, a Sardis area or just you know, Promontory area or even Agassi area. So that's kind of like the only downfall of Eastern Hillside. But beautiful, you know, homes, no condos, uh, and just the views there are, are breathtaking. So it's like the newer uh, Promontory. So now let's, uh, let's take a look at this little sliver here on the map. So this is Rosedale. So this essentially acts uh, like a little, like a little community that services all this uh, farmland here. Uh, there isn't really, you know, too much 
shopping there, but there is Rosedale Market. Um, so essentially, farmers go there to just pick up like essential supplies. As far as uh, living in Rosedale or uh, houses in Rosedale, you do have older homes with a lot of um, land. Uh, they, all, they also did just built a new uh, school there. Uh, and then you have newer upscale developments um, going up there. Okay, so now let's transition all the way over here to the southwest uh, part of the city where we find a little town called Yarrow. But before that, I want to mention uh, Coltis Lake. So technically, Coltis Lake, it's its own little city area. So we'll be covering that in a separate video. So now Yarrow, it's a small town um, and it's a tight-knit community. It really has everything you need. So it's got like small grocery store, gas station. Uh, typically when homes go up for sale in Yarrow, they typically don't last. Um, you have Majuba Hill. So it's got like older, well taken care of home, upscale homes with a lot of property and beautiful views. It's you're high up and it just overlooks the valley. It's it's beautiful homes up there. Also Yarrow is um, like summer town. So it's where people drive through to get to Coltis Lake. So during the summer, it's got some cute little shops, ice cream shops, some gas stations. So it gets pretty busy in the summer. So in the summer, expect to, uh, to encounter a lot of traffic. Okay, so now let's transition over to uh, Greendale. So you guys see it here on the map, it looks pretty small, but everyone in Chilliwack just kind of refers to this whole area as Greendale. There's a lot of farmland. Essentially, it acts as a hub, just like uh, Rosedale, to all the farmers here does have its own little school and also you have smaller streets with uh, you know smaller homes but really mainly you have a lot of properties with a lot of land um, acreages um, so yeah that's uh, pretty much uh, Greendale okay so now let's uh, move into Chilliwack Mountain but if you guys see here on the map there's a little area called Village West nobody in Chilliwack really even refers to it as Village West essentially we all kind of refer to it as a Chilliwack Mountain area. The really um, the reason it's kind of divided. This is all industrial uh, area. So Chilliwack Mountain, um, you go here for views, um, but you for an affordable price you can have uh, some nice views. If you guys see, see here, uh, there's some you know townhomes here uh, having a view of the Fraser River. But as you go up the mountain, you have some multi-million dollar homes that also have an amazing uh, view. The nice thing about Chilliwack uh, Mountain too, it's that it's close to the downtown area. You can pretty much get to downtown within five, five to 10 minutes. And also you're very close to the highway. So if you, you know, if you have to commute, you're right next to the highway. And also in this red here, there's gonna be a huge uh, development there called Cedar Brook. And it's gonna have everything from condos all the way up to detached homes and along with commercial space so we'll be doing a video on that development uh, later okay so now lastly Cattermole what you've been waiting for this whole time so yeah Cattermole is essentially all industrial um, it's really just kind of when you're driving by the highway and you see it's like the Richie Bros auction yeah there's really not much there and really you probably won't be living there um, but if you made it this far, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching this far and uh, Cattermole. So yeah, next time you encounter somebody that lives in Chilliwack, ask them, do you know where Cattermole is? Because I do. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button for future videos.